read their nonverbal communication. Listen to understand the message. Don't just listen to wait for your turn. Demonstrate some empathy. Avoid judgments if you can. Know that you have filters. You have these emotional filters. So know what they are and try to check them at the door so it doesn't interfere. Of course, obviously, eliminate noisy barriers if you can. And importantly, this is so important, you need to prioritize the other person's agenda over yours. You know what you want, but if you're being the good listener, you're listening to them. So remember, it's their story. It's not my story. I'm not having this conversation to tell my story. I want to hear what that person says. Go back to the quote, we have two ears. I'm going to add to that. We have two ears and two eyes and one mouth. So we need to listen and observe twice as much as we speak. My question for you is what will you do differently because of this, what you heard today? I hope you will observe. I hope you will listen. And I'm sure then you will engage even better with your clients and develop your emotional IQ as well as your listening skills.